In this video I'm going to look at how we can use the same techniques as last time to create a simple uh, augmented reality app. Um, this time I'm going to use um, a real picture. So what I've got is I've got this picture which I've just took off the internet which is a, a holiday poster and I'm going to create a, uh, an AR to this so that when you scan the picture something appears on the screen. So let's start with the same position we were last time. So uh, job number one, let's add a scene. So we're going to import the scene and we'll have a look at what we've got. So I'll go back to the Animal Kingdom and this time I'm going to take, what should we have? Let's have, there's a fish in here somewhere. Starfish, we could have a starfish. Oh, there's a fish. Fish. Let's have the fish. So I've got a fish. Okay. This fish is very big, so we're going to scale it in the same way. If we look at the position, at the size. Come on. Object information. It's two meters by meter by meter. My post is going to be about A4, so I'm going to set my post to be sort of 23 centimeters, so it needs to fit inside that. So I'm going to scale it down. Get nice, it's got a small right out for a minute. Let's get the information up on that. Still a little bit large. Okay, that should fit inside it nicely. I'll zoom in a bit. Right, so next job, let's add our dummy. Dummy AR. And we're going to put Pixie inside the dummy. Okay, so it's now inside that. Um, our next job, we need to add the tag. So let's go into our scene and input AR capture again, just leave that as it is. This time I'm going to come on, input AR marker, and this way I'm going to make the change. So in here, I'm going to choose a picture that I've got. So I've got it ready. Multiples test AR marker. Um, you've got to resize these down to a sensible size. Um, I've set this one to be um, 220 by 320 roughly. Um, what it's going to do, it's going to examine the picture and it's going to try and um, identify all the different parts of the picture so it makes it a recognisable picture. So anything too large, it's going to take a long time. I found that um, 320 by 220 for an A4 poster seems to work about fine. So I'm going to open that takes a minute to train the features job done and I'm going to scale this I'm going to set this to 23 centimeters um, and the object is going to be our dummy AR there we go so we're almost set and I'll just leave that on there for scale purposes we can see that the fish is about the right sort of size but it's not quite how I want it I want the fish to be above it and I want the fish to be, um, let's say, looking towards us. So we'll have a little bit of a play with the fish now. So I need to select the fish. I'm going to rotate that fish that way. And that way. And that way slightly. So when I actually do the thing, it will look sort of like it's coming out of the um, if I can get that around so you can see what I'm trying to do, it'll sort of look like it's coming out of the picture okay, maybe, we shall see I'll press ok on there now I'm going to loop like I did last time so I'll find the skeletal and I'm going to make the loop on that and I'm going to set in my inputs 
my hide and my show. So object hide. Uh, let's see, hide on start. It's dummy AR that we're hiding. All well, looks okay. So let's do if we find we'll show if we lose it we will hide and again that's all there is to it nice and simple so let's export this out and let's see what happens so first job save uh, let's save it in my test folder I'm gonna call this one um, sky tours it's saved and we'll export it now I've got my tablet plugged in and we'll install straight to the tablet so export Android make sure my tablet's unlocked okay. Um, okay this time I'm going to set it for portrait mode because posters in portrait Intel for me I'm not going to use a key store press OK and wait found it yeah it's going to take a minute or two to upload it so we'll wait a bit longer this whole wait process seems to be taking about two three minutes um, on the video I'm cutting it down to make it quicker and job done so let's test it and see how we go. Okay, let's uh, let's run the app and see what happens. As you can see, this time it's in portrait mode, and there's the fish poking out. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see there's the sky tours thing, and the fish swim around in front, and then. Cover it up, fish is gone, bring it back, and we're back. I hope you can see that's a nice example of how we can use um, augmented reality on the more complex picture.